All right, so it is uh, it's dark and it's cold right now, but uh, I just got done balancing the pack. Um, surprisingly, it wasn't that hard um, with this guy here. Basically, I just hooked the um, hooked the uh, the multimeter and this up to it because I was using the multimeter to measure it. So it's you got to use the same uh, measuring device, you know. Anyway, um. I uh, used the discharge feature on this. You can see, like, so it has like an automatic setting. So what I did was um, trying to get it like just just under eight volts, like seven point seven eight, uh, seven point nine eight or seven point nine seven volts. So I put it at seven point nine volts in discharge and at point three amps. I guess you could have put whatever you wanted, but um, but it discharged it and um, and it got it to like seven point nine seven. So not bad. So, this is, these are the final results. So you can see I measured it about four times already. But uh, let's see here. So here I had it was pretty high before, so I discharged it. Seven point nine seven. The rest of them. Well, they were high initially because the battery had just been charged. But anyway, uh, yeah, so everything is either 797, 796, 795. I got some 8.01, 799, 799. That's, that's fine. As long as it's uh, between like 7.9 and 8, uh, I, I think that'll be fine. So I'm ready to put this bad boy back together. I've uh, already greased all the... Um, I've greased all the battery bars. They're still in order. You can see they're greasy a little bit. It's really sticky stuff. And you can see they're all nice and shiny now for the most part. And uh, I've uh, kind of sanded down the end of the, the nut here. So I'm ready to put this bad boy back together. Until then, hit easy make out. Right now they use this as uh, contact plus, or like that's an electronics cleaner, and I just use it to spray the terminals here. And uh, I went through it with a, um, a nylon wire, wire brush, or well, yeah, it's nylon wire brush, so it doesn't conduct electricity. Uh, I just went through it and I cleaned off all the debris and like leftover acid on it. You can still see some here. Um, and then, uh, and I gotta clean this one still, so. It just gets rid of a little bit of the acid right there. Let's get the back side. There we go. So this battery, it looks like it's uh, good to go now. Alright, now let's put it back together. All right, so I've gone ahead and put some of the the bars back on. It wasn't too hard. So I mean, the other side is different. It has these little um these little voltage checker thingies on there. They go on top, but this side is is easier. So basically, you got this little it's little safety bracket thing here. So you can't accidentally, it makes it harder to accidentally like short the terminals, so that's nice to have. Still a little dirty, but eh, what are you going to do? So um, so basically, so what I've noticed is these battery bars are different. Um, some of them are kind of square cut, and some of them are like a roundish cut. And I haven't found any reason why that is, because... Uh, this thing is exactly the same here, so I don't know, maybe a Toyota just had like two different manufacturers or two different kinds for no apparent reason. Maybe they came, yeah, like I said, probably came from a different manufacturer. You know, you know these are probably aftermarket, not Toyota made. And some of them are round and some of them are squarish. So yeah, so basically, take this, put in a little protector thing. And some people are saying, like, if you wanted to just cut one of, if you didn't want to take the whole thing out, you can cut these individually. But uh, I just left the whole thing on there. So that's how it goes on. There's a little, 
it's, it's actually it's easier to put in than it is to take out because you have to get like a screwdriver and pry it out but that's how it goes and that just goes on and then the screw goes over it pretty simple it's um it's like working any other car battery just uh times 28 <laughs> pretty much all right here's what i got okay so i got one side done all in there i already put this cover on so it's got these covers right here and i think i want to kind of clean this a little bit all right so i kind of just shot some air over it get the dust out but uh yeah it's got so it's got a cover like this over all the the terminals so after that this one just kind of just snaps into place take a look at my handiwork So just kind of just I think it goes over like that, yeah. That's it. it just snaps into place. It just keeps stuff from touching the terminals, basically. Like Toyota went to great lengths to for the safety. You gotta gotta be thankful for that, right? I don't know how often the they service actually service the battery. I think most of the time they just want you to just um, they just want you to uh, replace it, you know. And it's probably easier to just replace it. Alright, that's one side all done. And I just have to do the other side. The other side's a little, little bit more complicated, but I, don't, I got less space back there. I'll just take a look at it real quick. So basically all of these guys gotta be on here. I'm like oh, I had to put the bars back on. And I honestly don't remember if this goes on the top or the bottom, so I have to look up a picture. So yeah, basically it just comes on there like that. It looks actually pretty easier because it's all one piece almost. It's got this long bar thing right here connected to this part. Not really sure where that goes. It's the ground. Yeah, it's the ground for something. Yeah, it's the ground, so this is your negative, and then your positive is right here. On this side. Oh, no, 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 wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somewhere here. Yeah, I don't know why these two are here. I thought that's just like some kind of sensing thing. Or no, you know what? This is a, this is the part of the safety right here. So, you see this here? So it's got a wire going here and one here, and this is the, where the safety plug is. So that's how the safety plug works. It like basically it breaks a link in the battery pack. So like yeah, so pretty much it just it just cuts off one of the one of the packs, and then the whole back is useless. But uh, I think the actual power comes from here. Yeah, your positive is here. And your negative is right here, so this is where you're getting all your power from. So if I uh, supposedly, well, I mean, I guess if you, uh, I think these are relays, because when I when I put a um, a voltmeter on these guys, I get no voltage at all. So I'd imagine it's it's probably under here is the part that you can that's hot, and then it opens it up, and then it sends the power over here. So these are the relays you hear click 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 when when you turn the car on I think. Uh, yeah. So that's pretty much how it works. Pretty ingenious Toyota. This is your battery control unit right here. Um, these are the relays like I said. And I'm not really sure what these are probably like some kind of temperature sensors or fan for the fan and you got your vent here, your battery bars that uh give it rigidity and then the tray and the end cap and then the vent piece that goes to your uh, it goes to your like um the fan it's pretty cool pretty cool that's how it works all right here's what we got <laughs>